हेलो वेलकम टू एवरी ऑन इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर एटीन ऑलरेडी सेवेंटीन लेक्चर्स आर कवर फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ थर्मल फिजिक्स फॉर दिस मिशन थ्री यू नो वी कवर एक्चुअली टू बुक्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द थर्मल फिजिक्स बाय गार्बंसल घोष एंड अदर वन इज द थर्मल फिजिक्स बाय रॉय एंड गुप्ता राइट दिस इज द पार्ट टेन ऑफ दिस बुक एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर कॉन्सिट ऑफ द एन अदर बुक सो इफ यू वॉन्ट्स टू वॉच द प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू कैन ग्रो थ्रू डिस्क्रिप्शन पर लिंक कर and if you wants to watch the theoretical part you also get the another playlist link are given in description box in this video I want to discuss question number 1 to question number 9 of chapter 5 that is consists first law of thermodynamics so let's start with question number 1 who is says that refer to this fig figure that is this figure it consists delta q p r q p r q the delta q means heat change so heat change from p r to q is 80 joule and the work done for p r q that's mean the work done along this path is 30 joule so you need to calculate the delta q p s q you need to find out delta q p s q uh, if delta p s q is 10 joule so the work done given here you need to find out the charge for this uh, sorry uh, heat change for this path so you know this from the first law of thermodynamics dq equals to du plus dw that's mean du equals to dq minus dw so if you consider from p to q you know the u is a state function it is does not depend on path so if you run from p r q or if you run from p s q the delta u that is the internal energy this will be the same because it's depend on initial state and final state or you can say this so so so, so this is depend only on the state so the delta u equals to uh, the heat change minus work done that will be 50 joule so the work done for the along this path is nothing but uh, uh, is given is 10 so this uh, uh, heat is nothing but delta u plus delta w delta u is, is 50 joule because this initial and final state are same and work done given by 10 so this is 60 joule right next question when the system undergo a change along the path p t q along this path the work done it is 20 joule how much system absorb or heat radiate so when take from this path to that one so the heat equals to nothing but delta q plus delta w and delta w is minus 20 because this volume is reduces so this work done will be minus so this will minus 70 so minus is means, means divide that means heat is relaxed by from this right next question u p that is the uh, internal energy at p is 0 and internal energy at s is 40 calculate the heat absorbed during the process p s and s q right so you can see the internal energy at p is zero so and internal energy at s is 40 and you know the internal energy for p to s equal to 40 del change and work done equals to 10 p s equals to p s equals to p s q because there is no change in volume so no work done from s to q so the work done from p to s is nothing but work done from p s q which is 10 joule so the uh, heat change from p to s is nothing but delta u plus delta w delta u is, is 40 and delta w is 10 so this is 50 similarly for s q the work done is 0 work done is 0 and delta s q is nothing but delta p q minus delta p s delta p q you already find 40 and delta p s is fine for uh, 50 and this is 40 so this is 10 joule clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box go to the next one two moles of perfect monoatomic gas initially keep in the uh, cylinder at a pressure of this this is the initial pressure and temperature are made to expand until its volume is double until its volume is double number one how much work is done if expansion is adiabatically second is isobaric and third is isothermal so uh, first one is adiabatic adiabatic the work done is you know n by gamma minus 1 pi v, vi minus p f vf so uh, if you convert it p into temperature you will be get this rt right so n rt uh, this is not n i think uh, this is problem this is one okay this is one 
So PV equals to NRT, then you will be get NRTI minus TA. So put this value in R, gamma is, uh, this is, uh, I think, taking as this, mole of perfect monoatomic gas, monoatomic gas, so 5 by 3, initial and final temperature is given. So you will be get the work done, okay? Initial temperature is 30 degree temperature and pressure is given. So VI equals to like that. So final volume is double. And from final final volume, you know for uh, adiabatic process, this will be the equation of this process. From where you will be get the, here the final volume is initial, double of the initial. So you will be get the temperature from this relation. Okay. So you will be get this temperature and putting this value, you will be get this one. From isobar, for isobaric process, the work done equals to P into volume change because pressure is constant to change in volume. So you will be get here these two volume, initial volume and final volume. Put this initial and final volume, you will be finally get this work done. And isothermal work done, which is NRT ln uh, Vm minus Pi. Okay. So this NRT and uh, ln2, which is like that. And this is the process uh, adiabatic uh, this is the schematic diagram the next question show the process in PV diagram so in PV diagram iso adiabatic and isobaric pressure is constant and isothermal that is the uh, isothermal process and you know the isothermal process work done equals to NRT ln VA minus VI and which is volume is two times of this right next question is name the process in which heat transfer is maximum and in which minimum so heat transfer that is the area under the curve you can see here that curve 1 2 3 you can see here the area under the curve is minimum for 1 and maximum for 2 so heat transfer is maximum for 2 that is the adiabatic and minimum for ad, uh, isobaric and minimum for uh, curve 1 adiabatic okay so delta q of isobaric you can get this change and for adiabatic delta q is 0 minimum value is 0 and for isothermal you can see the work done okay and third, uh, fourth question was in which case change in internal energy is greatest and which is least. For internal energy, dq minus delta w. For isobaric, delta u equal to. For isobaric, delta u equals to isobaric. For isocodic, this is uh, isothermal, this is delta u equals to 0. For isothermal, this is 0. So there is no change in uh, uh, S and for adiabatic delta q0 so delta u equals to delta w but here delta u equals to delta q minus delta w so delta u for isobaric is like here and delta w for isobaric we already find work done for isobaric okay so put these two things you will be get this one so this is isobaric adiabatic and this one next question one mole of oxygen initially kept as 17 degree centigrade adiabatically compressed so its pressure become 10 times so pressure in final pressure is 10 times initial pressure calculate temperature after the compression so from the pressure temperature equation of adiabatic process from where you can easily find out the final temperature and the work done due to this gas you know this uh, temp, uh, formula of the work done and put this value this is uh, nrt so you will be find this work done right next question one mole of ideal gas is contained under a light frictionless piston of vertical cylinder at temperature T. This is a vertical cylinder and this is the piston. The space above the piston open in the atmosphere. This is atmosphere. Calculate the water and increase the volume two times. So if you was to increase this volume two times, then you need to find out the work done. You know this is the isothermal process. So work done equal to 4 in, into displacement. Volume equals uh, increase n times final volume increase n times okay so this 4 is nothing but pressure change, difference into surface area there is two pressure this is p and this is p naught so effectively pressure is p naught minus p into s so this is the force this is displacement and you know area into uh, distance is volume so this is p dv right so you will be get this, this uh, these two things if p naught is constant so you will be get this one and here the p equals to nrt by v so this is ln so finally you will be get this answer clear next question and ideal gas undergo a process in which its internal energy is released to its volume so internal energy and volume related like that calculate the work done of the gas and the amount of heat transport to this gas to increase its internal energy by delta u 
so internal energy u equals to like that so u equals to n cv dt so n cv dv by nr so this is cv dv by r so this is u so if you compare this u value you will be get the expression of p okay so work done equals to p dv so put this value of a you can easily find out this expression there is a missing of b uh, this is error in this answer uh, because this question already okay this will be discussed in the upcoming lecture in the Roy Gupta solution. Okay, so there is a B, there is a missing of B. Similar for the this one the increase in internal energy that is delta U, dq equals to du plus delta W. So du you, you taken as common, so you will be get this one. So there is also in error of this one. Okay. So this is the answer of this question. Go to the next one. A fixed mass of air of one atmospheric pressure is compressed adiabatically to five atmospheric pressure. It is allowed to expand isothermally to its original volume. So uh, first uh, you can see here uh, there is adiabatically to five atmosphere and then allow to isothermally to original volume. Calculate the pressure exerted by the air end of the isothermal process and in which process is more work done. So you can see here uh, adiabatic process you will be get this uh, ratio and finally we get the pressure okay and work done in the adiabatic process you know this formula in uh, r of this so you will be get this one and work done of isothermal process will be like that and work done during isothermal process is uh, larger than adiabatic process you can see under the area cover of this graphs okay next one the equation for no state is like that so this is the equation of state for B equals to like calculate the maximum work done when 7.5 gram of gas expands isothermally for this. So from 7.5 gram, you can see here this is the 30 atomic number. So n equals to 5 by 30, that is 1 by 4. So if you put this value uh, 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 work done expression in RTL and VV, just P dv and you put this value of P, you will be get this expression and putting this value of n r t ln v of minus n b and like that so you will be get this amount of work done will be next one the equation of state of an ideal elastic substance is like that where k is a constant l0 the value of l at 0 tension is a function of temperature only derive an expression for the work required to change the length of l0 to l03 l0 basic quasi statically and isothermally so work done is pdv and p is like that so you'll put this value and this t is related like that so if you put this one and integrating you will be get this expression very easily and this will be the answer okay next one okay there is actually error this is not t if you take this is force if you take this is as a force this is force. actually this question already repeated in uh, Rai Gupta book so if you take this as a force and if you put this value as a force then the answer will be matched with the book answer okay so this is not t this is actually force this is not t this is force okay so if you take this as a force the answer will be like that otherwise if you take this is t the answer will be this one okay next one Express u as a function of p, v, and t as like that. So u is a function of p and v. So du equals to del u del p at constant v dp and del u del v at constant p dv. So from the first law of thermodynamics, you know dq equals to du plus v dv. So du can be repair, uh, right and it's like that. And if you compare for isochoric process, the volume is zero, volume change is zero. So dv equals to zero, you will be get dq equals to like one. So dq equals to you also know cv dt for specific heat and to mass uh, it capacitance into dv so if you compare you will be get this value should be equals to like that and you know the volume expansivity alpha equals to 1 by b del v del p at constant p and isothermal compressibility is like that minus 1 by b del v del p at constant t so alpha by beta t equals to minus del v by del t at constant p del p by del v at constant t so 1 by del t by del p at constant v so this will change this one so for, and you know this uh, cyclic process this is minus one so you, from equation number two in this equation if you put these two things you can easily find out this equation which asked in this question and for next one 
for constant dp uh, constant pressure here we take for constant volume isochronic process dp equals to zero for constant pressure this term will be zero these two term are present these two term are present so finally if you take this because this is the constant pressure so this is dp is dt so cp equals to like that and from here you can see cp into del t uh, del v if you divided by this at constant pressure you will be get this one so del u del v at constant p equals to uh, this one equals to this one minus one so this is the cp and del f t by del v uh, del t by del v is nothing but v into alpha okay so i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel this is my all uh, online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get different physics related video like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe to this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribe thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you